In our last video, we experienced the old Japan's rural life in Takayama. Now it's time to head to the mountains. Join us in our adventure exploring a traditional Japanese village, Shirakawago, in the remote mountainous highland valley, Kamikoshi. If you're a big nature lover, you definitely can't miss these two very special places located in the wonderful Japanese Alps. Our first stop is in Shirakawago. This is a traditional Japanese village, famous for its farmhouses, some of them with more than 250 years old. Welcome to Shirakawago. Today we are exploring this UNESCO heritage site. There are so many people here. Look at that bridge. We need to cross it. It's very early, but it's uh, very crowded. So let's get going. Very bouncy, the bridge. <laughs> and there's no one here. No one. No one. We are completely alone. The views are crazy beautiful. And there's no one here. We are at the Open Air Museum. This is definitely the place that you should visit if you come here to Shirakawago. In here, there are 25 buildings from shrines to different Japanese style houses. So we are going to enter now. Let's get going. open air museum it's possible to enter the houses so we are about to enter a family house we are very curious about what is inside this house and since we are entering a house the shoes must come off <laughs> she's very spacious nice open doors for the outside cooking places and even a praying spot yeah, very cool there's even a second floor with the, the traditional very steep stairs here in Japan. So let's go. It's going to be fun on the way down. And there's even a hammock. Okay, we lost Rita. Oh, that's the stuff. Okay, bye bye. I'm staying here. Hmm. It's very impressive how they construct all these houses with only wood and ropes. There's little nails and I think the ones that uh, exist are from um, yeah, just uh, recovering things that were broken. So it's pretty impressive. Puppy. Is it a puppy? Yeah. Me? More or less. No? How about now? Okay, I can see a puppy. Okay, I'll try another one. No? Could be worse. Yeah, I can see a fox. Fox? Yeah.
Tamikoshi is a remote highland valley offering some of Japan's most spectacular mountain scenery. And that's exactly where we're heading today. Good morning everyone. We are in Kamikoche today, but unfortunately the weather is not in our favor. It's raining a lot, so we are just going to do a small uh, walk in the woods. That's basically what we, we can do with this weather. Wish us luck. Let's hope that we don't uh, get wet all over. And uh, let's start. Okay, so this place is definitely beautiful. It's so unfortunate the, the weather that it is today. Well, we are going to take the most out of it and do a small, small uh, walk around this area. But um, yeah, it's so unfortunate that this rain is uh, killing our day. My feet are so wet right now. We just started, but this place is so beautiful. Doesn't matter. curious about the water temperature so <laughs> oh it's freezing <laughs> it's so freezing <laughs> kamikoshi is also the perfect place to enjoy a japanese bath and despite the weather not being perfect to hike, it was perfect to soak ourselves in a hot spring. These Japanese-style baths are known for their relaxing and therapeutic properties, so we really couldn't miss something like this. For obvious reasons, we couldn't film inside, so here is our very honest review. We just came back from uh, the onsen, and it was a bit <laughs> awkward. For us, um, of course, we are not used to this type of um, activity. So, well, yeah. first we thought it was a mixed onsen. Yeah, and you you wear your swimming suit and you go and you uh, and you stay with each other, but uh, no, it was um, guys on one side, girls on the other side, fully naked. <laughs> Yeah, it was fun, it was a good experience. I totally recommend you try it. It's not my cup of tea. But I, I find it very relaxing. Yeah. But yeah, you are naked with tra strangers, strangers, so it, it, it's fine. Yeah. And the um, weather is not, it was not perfect to visit Kamikoshi, but for this kind of thing, it was perfect. Yeah, because you get really, really hot on um, the hot spring, and then you come out and it's uh, very, very cold the weather so it's it was nice and it was raining so it was extra special yeah shirakawagu and kamikoshi were two of the most beautiful places we visited in japan so don't forget to add them to your bucket list as always thank you so much for watching and we see you again soon on the next video of our japan series